And now for the Net 10 Wireless Halftime Show. After an exciting first half of arena football here at the U.S. Airways Center in downtown Phoenix, we welcome you back to the Net 10 Wireless Halftime Show. Hi, everybody. I'm James Bates. You know, back in the early 1980s, a gentleman by the name of Jim Foster sat at an indoor soccer game sketching on a manila folder. Hmm, some ideas of what would eventually become arena football as we know it today. Obviously, a gentleman who thought outside of the box. But why is it, Anthony Heron, as we go to our Arena 101 for tonight, that most of the rules have to do with staying in the box, restricted to that box? It's a little bit confusing. And the birth of the idea of that box, the interesting thing about it is that the two linebackers who occupy that space were initially known as the Jack and Jill linebackers, but at some point they decided we need a, a little tougher name than that, so they decided to call it the Mac and Jack linebacker. So let's take a quick look at the space that they occupy. The depth of the box is important to note because they can only operate five yards deep. The Mac always lines up to the guard side, the Jack opposite him to the side of the tight end. Now the Jack linebacker, he's allowed to work laterally, getting outside the edge blockers, and that's where you see him working underneath routes into the passing lanes. But the Mac linebacker, that's who's gonna blitz the majority of the times, allowed to operate in either A gap. So especially in a situation that where there is no one blocking the Mac linebacker, it's gonna cause a headache for any quarterback around the Arena Football League. So the Mac linebacker is your blitzer, the Jack linebacker usually in pass coverage. The depth of the box, like I mentioned, five yards for each guy, width of the box for the Jack, extending sideline to sideline. Mac linebacker bringing headaches towards the middle of an offensive protection and the Jack always to the tight end side. And we use those terms a lot, James, so it's interesting just to allow people a look at what those linebackers do and how they get to operate. Yeah, that definitely was a Mac and not a Jill linebacker that took down <laughs> J.J. Radrick and James Bryant last it. weekend for you.